Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on unboxing the Casio FX9860 G3. So this is the third iteration of the FX9860 G calculator from Casio. It's a graphic calculator just recently released in the UK. I got mine from sciencestudio.co.uk. Let's take a look at the front of the packaging here. You can see with this gold sticker at the front that it is recommended for A and AS level, higher grade and the IB qualifications. But also it's worth noting that we've got here in the bottom corner there that it's all UK exam approved. So we can use that for exams within the UK. You can also see some of the specifications that we've got here on the left hand side, including Python as well. We've got Python in this as well as all the other features. Let's just take a look at the reverse of the packaging. Let's flip it over. You can see one of the obvious things about it is it's going to be a monochrome screen. So it's not full color like the CG50. And you can also see a list of what's included as well. The accessories alongside the screenshots that we have there. So let's not waste any more time. Let's have a look inside. Try and pull this open. And yeah, not too difficult actually this time. And you can see that we've got the white case that seems to be quite popular now with the new models from Casio. Just having a look at this, it looks very similar to another model of calculator that was released in Europe. So primarily in France, which is the Casio uh, Graph 35 Plus E. Um, so it looks like it's designed in a very similar fashion using this, a similar sort of casing. I don't own that model of calculator and maybe somebody out there knows if there's any differences between the model. Obviously, the uh, Casio Graph 35 Plus is a French language calculator, so that is a prime difference. Uh, but in terms of the features, I don't know. Maybe comment below if you know the difference. Let's have a look at what else you get inside the package. We've got some alkaline batteries here and I'm just going to put these in to the actual calculator this time. On previous calculators, I have used and recommended Panasonic Eneloop rechargeable batteries, but I imagine this calculator, similar with the CG50, you can't charge the batteries in the calculator, unlike the TI Inspire. Uh, you have to take them out and put them in the charger to recharge when they're depleted, but you can use the alkaline batteries given they will last a fair amount of time, I imagine. We've got some uh, information about the disposal of the batteries there, and we've got the quick start guide. I imagine that there's a more in-depth instruction booklet available online. You can see there's a few other models there. I imagine they take a similar form. Maybe they're different models that are available internationally. You've got the USB cable here. You've got the other pin adapter here for connecting different calculators together. There's also, I think that's um, different language disposal instructions there as well. So let's just clear that out. Let's take a little bit more of an in-depth look at the calculator. So if you see on the uh, reverse here, there's sort of a pattern uh, that we've got a very nice geometrical pattern around the reset button. Um, so let's load up the batteries. This is just going to take me a while to get into, so I'll just come back in a second. Okay, batteries are ready to load up. Case back on. And it started straight away. Um, there wasn't a, a startup procedure like there was with the FXCG50. You can see the display is quite clear. Obviously, once again, it is monochrome. I'll just switch it off and switch it on, see what happens. So we've got the Casio logo there back on and we're straight into the main menu. Let's just have a look at some of the options that we've got. Scroll down and around. Got the spreadsheet mode there. And there, yeah, at the bottom there, we've got Python as well. A nice addition. And all the other modes really that we're very familiar with from Casio graphic calculators. Uh, I'll just put it into run matrix there, very similar setup. You can see that the, the font as well on the buttons, particularly the number buttons is very clear. That's quite nice. And the sort of a teal colored delete and AC on key. So there we go. Uh, so there's the new version of the FX 9860G. It's the third iteration of this calculator. Of course, I'm not sure at the moment what the differences are between this and previous versions. So if you know, or if you're investigating the calculator, then feel free to comment below. 
see what your opinion is if you have this particular calculator. At this stage, we don't know if it is going to be better than the CG50. The CG50 is obviously full color. There's more apps such as say the probability app and such that you can download for it. So that's probably going to be a more versatile calculator than this one. In terms of price point, I imagine that this will settle eventually somewhere between the cost of a Casio FX991EX Scientific and the FXCG50, somewhere in between. So if you did want a graphic calculator, it may ultimately be a more affordable option than the full color. But I imagine most of the features that you would need, for example, for A-level maths will operate in a very similar way. So you'll, you'll have access to all the distribution features and such. So there we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much again for watching. And I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guide.